In this video, we'll be discussing jobs. Jobs are test projects way of creating test suits for multiple tests. Let's start by creating a simple job. You can create a job for each platform we support, web, Android, and iOS. Let's create a simple web job. First, we need to give it a name. So let's call it example job. You can also give it an optional description and hit next. When you create a job, you can select which agent will be responsible for the execution of the job and which browsers the job will be executed on. So let's select Chrome. You can also choose browsers from the remote cloud services we have integration with, Sauce Labs and BrowserStack. You can also choose to restart the browser before each test in the job. This is off by default and is useful if each of your test cases continues off where the previous one left. Once created, you can just drag and drop your tests into the job to add them to it. You can even drag the same test multiple times. Jobs can be scheduled to be executed either on demand by you, either at a single time and date, or you can have them recurring. For example, I can have this job execute every 20 minutes if I like to. Jobs can also have email and webhook notifications added to them. Either on start or on finish, on finish either always or only on failure. Here you can insert the email of any member of your team. Or you can choose a webhook defined by you through the integrations webhook section. Jobs can also have custom capabilities added to them if needed. These can be used to change the behavior of your Selenium session. When tests are inside jobs, you can also choose to attach a data source to that test. So for example, let's take our web test and attach a data source. So each time you'll execute this job, this specific test will be executed with that data source file. Of course, when you update the data source, it'll affect all instances of it inside all jobs you may have using that specific data source. 